In this video I'm going to show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress blog. The first thing to do is to go to the main Google Analytics page. It's quite a long URL so if you just do a search in Google for Google Analytics it'll take you to the main analytics page and then you can sign in and you sign in with your Google account. So I'll just go ahead and do that now and then click on sign in takes you to this page and you can click to select a website profile or you can create one. I'm going to create a new website profile here. So click on add website profile and it says add profile for a new domain and so we're going to put this one in here which is www.totalwebnet Com. I'm in the UK so it's selecting United Kingdom as my time zone country or territory and the time zone is GMT plus one hour because we're in British summer time or daylight savings time. If you're in another country that has more than one time zone, let's say you're in Australia, then you'll need to select your time zone from the drop down menu here just go back to where I really am, there we go, and then click on finish. And there we are, this is now the tracking code being displayed. And what I need for my WordPress blog is this bit here, the web property ID. So I'm going to just simply copy that to my computer's clipboard and that's all I really need to do here for the moment. Next thing I need to do is to install a plugin on my WordPress blog and the one that I want to install is this one Google Analytics by Kevin Sylvestra and you can download it either from the WordPress.org plugin directory or you can simply come here to the plugins page and click on add new and then do a search for it Google Analytics and I'll do a search for plugins and this is the one that I want Google Analytics at the time that I'm recording this video it's version 1.0.2 and it's by Kevin Sylvestra so I'm going to install it now just by clicking on the link to install this plugin click on OK and there we are and now I want to activate the plugin so click on the link and there we go the plugin is activated now what I have to do is come down here to settings and you'll see it's added a setting here Google Analytics so I'm going to click on that and then I add my web property ID so I just delete the blank one that's there paste in the web property ID into this box here. I can choose whether I want asynchronous tracking or not. I'm going to leave it at no and then click on save changes and there we go settings are saved and now Google Analytics is installed on my blog.